Hello. How are you? Today, Toyota has captured a large portion of the global auto market by selling affordable, fuel-efficient trucks, cars and SUVs. It is also the second most profitable company in Japan, behind only Japanese car maker Mitsubishi. Even so, what role did the Toyota logo play in the company's success, and how did it come about? Let's find out in this video. Do you know that Toyota originally didn't start selling cars? At the beginning, the company was called Toyota after Sakichi Toyota. The company was called Toyota Automatic Loom Works, which was active in the fashion industry, selling textiles and automatic looms. However, in the early 1930s, the Japanese government began to urge Toyota to expand into automobile production to supply the nation. The war was ongoing with China. Kaichiro Toyota, the son of the company's founder, traveled to Europe to study the troubles of car manufacturing. And in 1934, the company produced the first Class A engine. A year later, Toyota is producing its first vehicle, the Model A passenger car. Not long after that, the car manufacturing, a branch of Toyota Automatic Loom Works became its own company and was named Toyota. The explanation behind the change is that in the Japanese spelling, the new name consists of eight characters, a lucky number in Eastern culture. During the Second World War, Toyota dedicated all of its efforts to manufacturing simple trucks to be used by the Japanese military. Allied forces recognized the contribution Toyota was making to the Japanese war effort and scheduled a bombing raid on their factories that would have likely crippled the young company. However, in a stroke of good fortune for Toyota, the war ended before the attack could be carried out. Let's look at the first logo. At the very beginning, the company was called Toyota following the family name, which means rice paddy. This word has become the central element of the logo. It was depicted inside a rectangle with cut corners, diamond-shaped emblem. To make the inscription readable, the designers chose sans serif bold and used red Latin letters. The debut emblem is found on the company's early cars. In September 1936, the company ran a public competition to design a new logo. Of 27,000 entries, the winning entry was the three Japanese katakana letters for Toyota in a circle. But Rizaburo, who had married into the family and was not born with that name, preferred Toyota because it took eight strokes to write in Japanese, was visually simpler. As you can see it's leaving off the diacritic at the end, only eight strokes, presenting a lucky number in Eastern culture. from 1958 to 1969. In 1958, the developers removed geometric shapes from the emblem and made the inscription in English. The result was a concise trademark, the black word Toyota on a white background. Strokes of letters of uneven thickness. From 1969 to 1978. The new logo is not much different from the previous one. Designers changed the font, preferring the classic Helvetica. It is characterized by straight lines, clear geometric shapes, and the absence of serifs. At the same time, the printed characters in the word are so close that the Y literally rests on two O on the sides. From 1978 till today. For 1978, the inscription become more readable due to the increased letter spacing. Red replaced black. In 1989, Toyota unveiled a new logo to commemorate the 50th anniversary of the company. This new logo featured three separate ovals combined together and is the logo still used by the company to this day. According to Toyota, designers spent five years developing the new logo to ensure that the design would be well accepted in all of the company's many international markets. Also in the late 1980s, Toyota launched their luxury division Lexus. We shall talk about this brand in another video. In 2004, designer modernized the image by introducing ovals in a silver metal version. To achieve a 3D effect, they are used shadows, highlights, outlines, and a gradient. 
To see the meaning behind the Toyota logo, let's have a look at Toyota's own explanation. The two perpendicular ovals inside the larger oval represent the heart of the customer and the heart of the company. They are overlapped to represent a mutually beneficial relationship and trust between each other. The overlapping of the two perpendicular ovals inside the outer oval symbolizes T for Toyota, as well as a steering wheel, representing the vehicle itself. The outer oval symbolizes the world embracing Toyota. Each oval is contoured with different stroke thicknesses, similar to the brush art known in Japanese culture. From 2020, Toyota shifted to this flat 2D version. Sample and easy just like Ford. The name of the car company has been abolished, only a graphic sign has been used. The brand name is encrypted in three ovals of different sizes. Geometric shapes are arranged so that all letter are visible in them. The small horizontal and vertical ovals form a T. They also have a distinct Y. There is also an A with a crossbar in the middle. Both O is red in all ovals. The red square and textual designation of the trademark are absent because the developers focused on monochrome, leaving the combination of black and white. The first is the Toyota logo, the second is the background. Thank you for watching. I'll see you very soon. Later.